Hi, my name is Marcia Dreth. I'm the program manager for the Deaf Blind Living Well Services Support Service Provider Program here at the Center for Independent Living of Central Pennsylvania. Today's video is all about technology and how I communicate with people in my environment. The first thing I want to show you is my laptop and the equipment that I use. This is a regular laptop and on my laptop I have JAWS, Job Access with Speech. So I'm going to let you just listen to it for a minute to understand what I listen to when I use the computer. So if I were to do an internet search, I would go to Google, google.com, and I would type into the edit box whatever I wanted to search on the internet. And then the search results would pop up. So as you can hear, it sounds different than you would imagine it to sound. The next thing I'm going to show you. Contacts. Double tap to open. Actions available. Is my iPad. I'm using a regular iPad, just like everybody else has. The difference is that I'm using a Braille display. My Braille display is from Humanware. It's a brilliant Braille display with 32 cells. With, by using this Braille display, I can navigate the screen like everyone else. I can surf Facebook, read text messages, email, read books through iBooks, Kindle, Amazon, Bookshare, and many other different places but I am able to read through the refresher braille, dis refreshable braille Face display Face what Double is on the screen. So that's the iPad. The other piece of equipment that I use is a regular iPhone. And it's just like the same thing with my iPad, but I use a Braille display. I don't currently have it hooked up because my iPad is connected with the Braille display. But I can, can also check Facebook, email, text messages my bank account information, and also use my iPhone for communication when I'm at a store or other establishment. So you're probably wondering how a person who is deafblind checks the time. Well, of course, I can use my iPad or my iPhone, but I have a neat and handy watch here that is called the Bradley timepiece. I'm taking it off so that you can see and it is tactile. So I can feel the dots or the balls that run around the outside and the inside to tell me the hour and the time. So that's how I tell time. So you're also probably wondering how do I wake up in the morning? I have an app on my iPhone that is an alarm and I put this, it's a vibrating little disc under my pillow and I use this to wake me up in the morning. I set the alarm on my iPhone and then I, this vibrates when it's time for me to wake up. Other non-technology things that I use to communicate with people in my environment are buttons. I have a button that says I'm hard of hearing blind and I also have a button that says I'm deaf blind. Now I wear these when I'm out and going and traveling on public transportation 
this tells people that I am not able to hear you and that I'm not able to see you. It doesn't tell people how to communicate with me. I also use communication cards. This first card here tells a person all about me and tells people how to communicate with me. That, that you must speak clearly and loudly and that my name is Marsha and that I am deaf blind. I have other cards here that tell about how to communicate with me on public transportation, to purchase items, and I have a card in the back for emergencies. So as you can see here, I have many, many cards that tell different things to different types of situations. I also use street crossing signs. This sign is for residential use when I want the cars to stop and help me across the street. As you can see, it says that I'm deafblind and need your assistance across the street. I also use another street crossing sign for urban areas when I'm in the city. This is much smaller and when I'm standing in a corner people can help me across the street. So I hope this helps folks out there understand how technology benefits me and how non-tech items can help me communicate with people around me. To stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.